how's it going YouTube? Right, now and again we have a look at some tools and things like that on this channel. Because we're doing all the work on the camper and the cars and everything else, tools have been a big part of what I use, and also as an engineer in my everyday life. So what we've got to look at today is the Millsy Tools uh, TP2 thermal image camera. This is a little wireless one that connects to your phone or your iPad or something like that. And it's a nice little compact alternative to these sort of things, the, the, the standard one that everybody's used to using. And as an engineer, thermal cameras are useful in my everyday life as well. For monitoring condition of bearings and motors and electrical installations and things like that, I use these quite often. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get this one down on the bench, uh, let's get it out, let's have a look, see what you get in the box, uh, let's connect it to a phone or something and go through it and have a quick look and see what it does and we'll see how it compares in convenience to these big ones. Right, so let's get this down on the bench and let's get it out and have a look at it, shall we? Right, here it is. This is a TP2 handheld wireless infrared thermal imager. As you can see, this is a standard TP2 model. Right, let's open it up and have a look at it, shall we? Right, first thing we notice is it comes in a really nice little case. Uh, also in the box, uh, we've got a quick start guide uh, telling you how to use it and the full instructions in various languages. Right, so opening up this case, uh, we've got the camera itself. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, we've got a USB-C charger cable here for her to charge it up and some silica gel, we don't need that. So super basic kit. Case, charger cable, and we've got the camera itself. And as you can see, uh, this thing is super tiny. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can use this. Uh, you can either hold it in your hand and have it just connected wirelessly to your phone or it's got these little flaps that you can open up and then you can connect it to the back of your phone uh, just like this. It's got a little stretchy bit on the back so it doesn't matter the size of your phone it can sit there and then you can use it with the application on your phone connected like that. Uh, this has got an IR resolution of 256 by 192. Uh, it's got a wide temperature range, minus 20 to 550 degrees centigrade, or if you're in America, uh, minus four to 1022 Fahrenheit. Wireless connection to the smartphone, and it's got dual thermal and visible light cameras built into it. Now, because of its portability, where it doesn't have to be connected to a, a screen or the phone all the time, um, you can get in really good, hard to reach areas with this thing because of the size of it. If I get this off a camera, just to compare, let's get rid of this case a minute. Uh, this is your standard size uh, camera that you normally get, and this is this one. So you can see the size difference. Obviously this one's got the screen on the back, uh, but you can have that remote with the phone. That then enables this one to get in some really difficult to see areas, which is really good. So if you're using it on your vehicle or something like that in the engine bay, and you want to see, say, the temperature of the alternator, you can get right in there with this camera and see what you need to see. Right, so to use this camera, um, it's got a little button on it there to turn it on. If we press and hold that, uh, you see that switches it on now and it's gone into like a search mode whilst it tries to find my phone. Right, so if I go into my phone, I can start up the application. Uh, it's a Millsy measuring tools application that you can find on the App Store or on the uh, Android market. As you can see there, it's found the device. So I can just click connect and it'll connect to it. It's got like a Wi-Fi connection uh, between the two devices that it connects to. And now you can see we're remotely connected. So like I said, you can either hold this camera in your hand and use it like this, or you can clip it to the back of the phone and use it as an all-in-one unit, depending on how you want to use it. Right, so if we set the camera up a little bit different, I'll start this screen recording as well. Uh, let's have a look through a few of the things that this actually does. Right, one thing I did forget to mention uh, was it's got like a quarter inch thread on it as well at the bottom. So you can mount it and leave it looking at things if you want. Right, so let's use the cat to go through the application. Uh, as you can see there, it's already connected and we're looking at the cat. So if I start this screen recording, right, there we are, the screen's recording now. Uh, so if I go back to this application, uh, let's have a look and see what this application does. As you can see, uh, we've got three crosses. Uh, we've got a white one, a red one, and a green one. The green one's moving about. Uh, the red one is the maximum temperature. 
as you can see there it's showing 38.9 at the minute right on the cat's head and that's moving around on the cat's body uh, your green one is the lowest temperature in this area so whatever's showing on the screen you've got your highest temperature and your lowest temperature and then the white one is for the center of the screen uh, down at the bottom uh, you can see like a cross if I press that it turns that on and off you see and then what you can do is you can pick which ones you want so you can turn the center one off uh, you can turn the high one off and you can turn the green one off uh, which is a low temperature and have whichever one you want on at any one time uh, on the right hand side uh, you can see the bar uh, which is showing your temperature range which is on the screen right now it's, as we can see there it's a, around 30 degrees uh, minimum to a 39 degrees maximum uh, right so right at the bottom uh, we can take a photo of that by pressing the big white circle there you are, that takes a snapshot of it. Uh, just to the right of that, uh, we've got a video button as well. We can turn it between photo and video mode, just like that. Uh, when it's a red button, uh, that's a video mode. And then it'll be recording a video, uh, which we can play back at any time. Because if we stop that and go to the bottom left, uh, this is showing any images or videos that we've taken. Uh, right, so if we have a look at the top of the screen, you'll see like a cross, a line, a hashed area, and a, a rubbish bin. So what we can do is if we press that cross, it'll go white as you can see there, and then we can put a custom monitor point on there. So if I press the bottom of the cat's foot, uh, you'll see there we've added one called P1, and then that's a custom uh, point. And you can add as many of these custom points on as you want. So if I press it again, uh, we can add some more custom points on, as you can see there. Right, if we go to the trash can at the end, uh, this will delete that and take those off. Uh, the next one is like a line. Uh, and what you can do is you can draw a line across there. And then what that'll do is that'll measure the temperature along that line. Uh, so if we delete that one and we'll try the next one, the hash. So if we get a hash box, uh, we can press and hold and draw a square out. And then what that'll do is within that square, that'll give us the lowest temperature and the highest temperature point and the average of the square within that setting. So if you're wanting to get multiple measurements of the surrounding ambient area plus a specific area within the screen, you can do that with that. Uh, so if I go back to that trash can and we'll delete that again, back down at the bottom again, just above the red circle, uh, we've got a button there for palette switching. So if I press that, as you can see there, we can change between different color palettes depending on what you're wanting to do and which is the best for your situation. And there's quite a range as well for what you can do. Uh, we've got a little shutter button just to the right of that. Uh, this is to activate the shutter for a non-uniformity correction. Not 100% sure what that does, but if you press it, uh, that corrects non-uniformity. Uh, right at the right-hand side, uh, we've got a button that you can press there, and this changes different perimeters. Uh, the one on the left, this changes our emissivity, our atmospheric temperature, and our target distance. Ours is probably about right at a metre now. And the temperature is about right as well. All these settings increase your accuracy for what you're getting. Uh, the one in the middle, uh, this changes between centigrade, uh, Kelvin and Fahrenheit. And the one on the right, uh, this also changes between meters and feet. Uh, top right hand corner, we've got a little cog which takes us into the settings. And from here, you can do various things, uh, like your measurement range. So if you're wanting to go to a high temperature mode, uh, you can do that depending on what you're measuring. I'm probably better off uh, putting it in auto, so I'll do that and we'll come back out. You've got a temperature alarm there, so what you can do... Oh, the cat's ran away. Uh, let's move the camera and look at the other cat. Two seconds. Right, there we are. We need something to look at while we're recording this, don't we? So if I go back into settings again, we've got a temperature alarm there. So what you can do is you can set up various alarms on that. So if anything comes, so say you're doing an inspection on some bearings or something like that, uh, you can set an alarm temperature. Whereas if it's too hot, it'll instantly alarm you or notify you that you're looking at something that's too hot. 
or too cold. In that as well, it's got an alarm snapshot set in as well. Uh, so what you can do is if you turn that on, it'll automatically take photos when the alarm is triggered. That's a really good little feature for when you're doing uh, maintenance inspections and things like that. Uh, we've got an isotherm mode as well that you can turn on there. Uh, auto power off, that's just a time that you want to set off so you don't forget to turn it off. And then we've got a few more like factory reset, battery capacity, and the device info. If we check for updates while I'm here, uh, as you can see we're on the latest firmware version. Uh, so if we come back out, uh, that's about it for what this particular unit does. Uh, and for me and what I need to do, th this covers everything that I need and like the alarm feature and things like that is really good. And I've found where the cat's moved to. Right, so a nifty little device to be honest and especially having this little tripod feature as well. So if you're monitoring something, you can fasten it up wherever you need it to be. And as a portable unit, uh, this is super tiny and it saves sticking your phone in little holes as well. You know with the ones that plug onto the bottom of your phone. So you're literally just putting this into the area and you can hold your phone in your other hand uh, looking at the readouts and the results there like this. Uh, super useful little thing. So what I'll do is down in the description I'll put a link to where you can check this out for yourself. They're not the cheapest things in the world uh, but compared to my uh, Fleur camera, uh, this is a lot cheaper. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, so if you want to see some more things like this or the camper build or anything else that's going on on this channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment below. I do like reading all your comments and I'll catch you again in another video. Cheers.